Hello and welcome, Scorpio. So let's get started. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything said here is going to resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And move that out of the way. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have three of pentacles. All right, so this could be, you know, a relationship. Maybe you met this person at work. Maybe somebody here is willing to put in work on the relationship. Or that's a question. You know, are they willing to? Are you willing to? Do you want to? So we will get into all of that. So... Where you are right now is the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles... You know, that is showing stability. That's showing that, um, you know, things are going rather well for you. Um, you know, could be sitting comfortably financially. Um, you know, it's just showing, yeah, just showing like everything's going good. Like you're confident, you're, you're taking care of business. You know, it's like you're doing your thing, Scorpio. Um, now the potential or the challenges here is, you know, this is wish fulfillment. This is, you know, your happiness. Um, it almost feels like to me, like you've kind of had to fight for this or you have really had to kind of go through, go through some stuff to, you know, in order to get where you are now. It's like to be that queen of pentacles. It's like you kind of had to go through some trials, some tribulations to really kind of make you step into this throne, step into this wish fulfillment of, I know what it is I, that I want and I know that I can make it happen myself type of energy. Um, Pisces kind of has similar things going on. You know, water signs, you know, we're all going through kind of the same thing. So, you know... Take it how it resonates, you know, if you have, um, you know, Pisces, you know, in your chart or um, anything along those lines, you're dealing with the Pisces, you might go check that reading out, you know, it might offer some more insight. Now down here, we have what to kind of focus on. So now, Scorpio, what I'm getting is currently you've been focused more on kind of the negative aspect of this card, you know, seeing things that you have lost, you know, mourning the loss of either I'm getting, you know, this is, could be like a relationship is what you're kind of mourning the loss of like, you know, what could have been. Um, it's like you're not seeing that there's still potential or there's still something better to come in. Um, so that's what you really need to focus on. You know, Scorpio, like if you were this person here in this card, I would tell you, turn around. There's two other cups here. There's other possibilities. There's something else here, something good, something that's not lost that's coming in for you. Maybe it's the situation isn't completely over, just kind of put on pause. Maybe it's just a whole new opportunity in itself that's going to be coming in. Like I said, we'll get more into that. But definitely, you know, kind of take the focus off of just focusing on, you know, regrets, on loss, you know, on mourning of a situation, um, because it does feel like, you know, something's kind of been going on for a pretty good amount of time here. Um, but definitely, like I said, no, there's something new coming in. So it's time to kind of turn around and see that there's something better coming in. There's new possibilities, new opportunities. Okay. Now your past we have the Five of Swords showing up. So the Five of Swords, that's kind of talking about mind games. It's like talking about, um, you know, stepping on people in order to kind of claim that victory. You know, it's like that winning, but, you know, at a cost type of situation here. So definitely kind of, you know, feeling like you could have been taken advantage of. You could have been stepped on for someone to kind of get to, you know, their ultimate goal. Um you know, Scorpio, it's, I keep getting the sense of, like I said, when it felt like you've been through some stuff, like some trials and tribulations to get where you are to like, because it feels like there is some kind of competition here. This could be within a relationship, like I said, because it kind of feels like, you know, you're mourning this loss, but at the same time, it's almost like a, like an argument, like a fight for, um, you know, your, I don't want to say sanity, but it's like, it was a fight for, um, who you are. You know, it's like this person was kind of misleading you into something or um, just playing mind games with you. And you're just like, you know what? You go ahead. You do that. I'm like, I'm not here for this. 
this really kind of sounds very similar to the Pisces reading. Okay, now um, up here we do have the Fool card, and this is your strengths. You know, Scorpio, you have that strength of being able to say, you know what, now's the time to walk away when something's not, you know, serving you, when something is not, you know, I mean, you're a very intuitive sign as well, you're a water sign. You know, when you get the gist of like something's not right here, you know, this person just feels like they're taking advantage of me, you know when to kind of cut people off here, and I'll get to this in a second too. Um, and know just when to start over when you, you know, when to kind of, you know, just take a chance on something. Like I said, for some of you, this feels like a work situation, really kind of taking that chance, putting yourself out there. Like I said, getting, you know, past the competition and trying something completely new, putting yourself out there, taking a risk. And it's like, you're being, you know, you, you get somebody's eye. It's like you claim that victory. It's like, Oh, you know, well, Scorpio did something extremely different. You know, look at this, look what they're doing. And it's like, you get acknowledged for this. Um, now within this relationship, I'm sorry, that message was for somebody like I have to take them how they come. Now, as far as a relationship goes, you're just kind of cutting some loss here. You're like, you know what? I'm not here for the mind games. You know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm trusting my intuition and I'm going to start something new. I'm starting a new journey. I need to go out on my own. I need to figure some things out. I need to focus on me because I put too much time and effort into this energy and it just feels like you keep using me or misleading me and it's time to move on. So Scorpio, like I said, that's really kind of what I'm getting, you know, for this situation. Now your near future, yeah, uh, King of Swords, you know, taking control, cutting things out, you know, it's seeing that truth, it's seeing that honesty within a situation, kind of clearing things up. It's also using, um, you know, approaching something at a standpoint of more like logically than, you know, following your heart. Um, it's like, you know, really kind of, you know, in water sign, again, you know, it's it tends to... We tend to kind of follow our emotions, you know, our intuition, everything like that. But with this particular situation, it's like you're seeing something that you can't ignore, something more than your intuition. It's like you're seeing with your eyes as well. And it's like, you know, it's time to cut some strings, cut this person out because it just feels like they're just kind of leading you on. Um, but yeah, but like I said, Scorpio, it definitely feels like you're kind of stepping into that power. You're seeing that truth. You're acknowledging it for what it is. And, you know, you're moving forward. You're, you're taking action. Like I said, you know, if it's not the truth, if it's not, um, you know, clarity, you know, bringing clarity to a situation, you're not going to accept anything less to that, you know, and that's, you know, yeah, that's how it should be. You know, everybody deserves the truth within a relationship. There shouldn't be mind games going on. All right, now down here we do have the card of temperance, and this is in the suggested approach. Um, pretty sure same placement as Pisces as well, so again, you might check that reading out. Um, but yeah, so we have the suggested approach of temperance, you know, finding that balance because this feels like it kind of knocked you off balance here, Scorpio. It feels like, you know, this person really kind of put you through the ringer, really kind of misled you. Um, you know, this there could be, you know, pretty big time span here or something along those lines or they're just kind of like stringing you along is what I keep getting and you know now it's like Scorpio the approach that you need to take is that healing approach that having patience that healing yourself taking time for self-love and just going with the flow instead of trying to control things instead of trying to make things happen just go with the flow right now um, you know even though this could have been you know possibly a soulmate for some of you I'm getting karmic for uh, some of you I'm getting soulmate for some of you so, you know, this is general. So again, take it how it resonates, but it is saying, you know, have that patience, have that healing approach to this situation. You know, let's start focusing on that. Let's start the healing process because it's like, you know, you, you've taken action, you're doing what you need to do. And so now let's go ahead. Let's start that healing process. So now what you need to know is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, like I said, for some of you, this is kind of like a soulmate. And this is you learning something from this person, kind of learning a lesson to learn from it and to grow from it. For others of you, you know, this is the slowest moving night in the deck. So it's, you know, you've been going through this for quite some time. You really needed to kind of take some patience. Um, and this is, you know, definitely helping you grow some patience, helping you grow, um, you know, what it is that you need to get to the next step, you know, and it's like, you know, it's coming, it's going to be solid, it's going to be stable, but it's going to take some time to get there. And like I said, you know, that healing process, it doesn't happen overnight. So, you know, for you to get to your ultimate goal, it's going to take some time, Scorpio. So again, just be patient. All right, now your hopes and your fears. 
Okay, so I'm getting the page of wands. So you're hoping for some communication from this person. You want, you know, you want some truth. You want some honesty from this person. And Scorpio, I'm just, I'm not getting that this person is ready to communicate with you or they are ready to um, apologize or anything because it's like, that's what you're after. And you know, I mean, I'm not knocking you. You know your situation. If you are owed an apology, then yeah, by all means, you're owed an apology. But I'm just not seeing this person coming towards you with an apology just yet. Um, it just feels like this person has just kind of been cut off. There's a distance between you guys and there's no communication. But that's, you know, kind of what you're hoping for, you know, either, you know, if not right now, down the future, you know, you want an apology from this person. You want them to kind of see the error of their ways. You know, you want them to, um, you know, acknowledge everything that they put you through. And again, Scorpio, I'm just not seeing this person coming through with it yet, but you know, that's definitely something that, you know, you want. All right. Now the outcome is the will of fortune. So this could be saying, you know, divine timing, this person could be coming back, you know, wanting to communicate, wanting to approach a situation. Like I said, offer up an, an apology, you know, communicate with you, um, things like that. But it's going to have to be in, you know, divine timing and, you know, when it's time, you know, Scorpio, you can't control this situation. You have to just let things kind of unfold. Um, but this is also, you know, a turn for the better, you know, luck on your side, things kind of, you know, turning for the better, like I said, because you are taking action to do so to kind of get yourself out of this kind of rough energy, this rough situation, and move forward, move towards something better. Everybody deserves that, Scorpio. So definitely, that is beautiful. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's take a romance angel for Scorpio here. So yeah, so again, just be patient. Things do, do look like um, they're turning for the better. So I just, I have to reiterate that for somebody. Okay. Okay. So now remember how we said things are going to be turning for the better. We have new love coming out. So a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So even though, you know, you're still kind of connected to this person from your past, you know, you feel like you're owed an apology or you at least want communication from this person. Like I said, you know, this person, they're going to have to realize that on their own. Um, but as far as you go, Scorpio, it does look like, you know, a new person is going to kind of stir up some romantic feelings in you. You know, we do look like we have a new love coming in. Like I said, things are going to be turning, you know, turning for the better, turning in good, you know, just be patient. So definitely that is feeling pretty good. Um, top of the deck, we do have free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. So, yeah, so that's, again, kind of, you know, getting out of this person, you know, cutting those strings, saying, you know what, I'm not doing these mind games anymore. You're not going to lead me on. You know, it's time for me to start my life and quit kind of waiting around for you or quit, you know, um, waiting for you to see how you're treating me or something, Scorpio. You know, that's what I really get that like you guys are trying to explain to this person. It's like, do you not understand how you're treating me? You know, and it's like this person is just kind of either oblivious or just doesn't care. Bottom of the deck, we do have religious factors. So your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. Um, for some of you, I get it that it's more, um, you are kind of, you're, you're getting on a more spiritual path. You know, it's like you're getting more enlightened. You're kind of focusing, like I said, on yourself, on healing process, you know, and that's putting you more in touch with, you know, your divine feminine or divine masculine, um, you know, within you like I said, on a very kind of spiritual path. Um, also with the new love, this could mean that there's going to be some differences or maybe there are some differences between you and this past person as far as like age, uh, relationship, just not seeing eye to eye. You know, this could be somebody, um, you know, from a different country, somebody from, you know, different ethnicity. Um, again, just somebody who's not seeing eye to eye with you. But definitely, like I said, something was kind of at work here. Um, or like I said, this could be with your new person, that there's going to be, like I said, some kind of age difference or, you know, something different from the usual type that you're used to dating. You know, it's like this person's really going to kind of stick out. But at the same time, like I said, new love. All right. So Scorpio, let's get some messages from your person. What is it that they want you to know? What is it Scorpio's person wants them to know? What messages do we have? Okay, so we have, you feel like home to me coming out. We have, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. 
your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. <laughs> and then lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. Okay. So again, Scorpio, kind of going back to these mind games. Um, you know, this person could have been kind of wearing a mask, just not completely honest with you either. Although I'm just getting that, you know, this person was kind of just kind of being selfish is what I keep getting. Um, you know, like I said, it kind of feels like this person, I don't want to say they used you as like a stepping stool, but they just, it's like they just kind of led you on. They kind of strung you on with some kind of hope that, you know, um, you guys were going to be together in the end or, you know, something like that. But it's like this person was still not ready to commit. This person was still kind of, you know, out there looking for, you know, something else or, you know, just kind of getting their own kicks, you know, and even though, like I said, there is a connection between you guys, you know, you do feel like home to this person, you know, and that could be vice versa as well. Maybe they feel like home to you and that's why this connection, you know, this hurts so much, but it's like this person, even though they realize, like I said, the error of their ways, you know, their mistakes that they've made, things they should have changed, possibly should have done to you, well, definitely should have done to you, you know, it's like lying was still easier for them than telling the truth and facing the truth, and I think that's why that Five of Swords definitely, you know, was there. Um, now, your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. You know, Scorpio, y'all are water energy, <clears throat> but you guys are fiery, <laughs> um, you know, very passionate, so I mean, you know, I get that, it's like, you know, you could have been very passionate, you could have been very different for this person, like I said, there's some differences or something between you guys where you weren't seeing eye to eye, and I think that's, you know, the connection kind of, you know, because it was an intense connection, kind of, you know, scared him off, I don't think this person was quite ready to commit, and, um, you know, kind of dealing still with their own issues, you know, whatever the case is for them. But it's like, you still didn't deserve to be treated the way you were or left the way you were. So, you know, again, Scorpio, like I said, you know, your hopes of wanting them to kind of come back, you know, communicate, um, you know, wanting an apology from them, you know, maybe, maybe down the road, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, definitely not this week. So, yeah. All right, well, Scorpio, that is what I have for you for messages from your person for this week. I thank you so much for watching. Um, take care, and I will see you guys again soon. I hope this helps your situation.